hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one is an interesting one we know what's going on in the country the insecurity is rising seriously the southwest states are boiling specifically in most states we don't know what is going on what is happening in that state from one attack to another and so far the shocking part is that um, uh, no one knows who is carrying out the attack so far we know um emo state governor and other southeast governors they are accusing um ipop of being responsible for the attack but all the reports we've been getting is that um, unknown gunmen unknown gunmen attacked this attack that you know even hopos odima's house was a uh, his uh, uh um, country home house was uh, uh burnt as well the interesting part right now is that uh <laughs> senators um right now they've stated that as buhari supporters they can no longer keep quiet this is not the time to keep quiet something is wrong something is fishing somewhere if um the insecurity is rising and the president is not making any move not taking it serious and they've stated that they can no longer keep quiet we'll bring you all of the details in a bit guys but before we do please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again the senator representing Kogi West Senatorial District on the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC in the National Assembly NAS, Senator Smart Adeyemi, has said supporters of President Muhammad Buhari cannot keep quiet over the security situation of the country. Senator Adeyemi stated this on Tuesday while debating a motion moved by Senator Sani Musa on the activities of bandits and Boko Haram terrorists in Shiroro and Rafi local government area of Niger State. He described the present situation of the country as worse than civil war and that President Mohamed Buhari must rise to the occasion and bring in people to save the country or else, Adeyemi said, everyone will be consumed. Insecurity is a serious problem today in Nigeria and there comes a time we cannot but speak the truth. Today, all of us have been threatened. We need not run away from the fact that this is the worst instability we are facing. In fact, this is worse than civil war the answer is very simple we cannot pretend that we are capable of confronting the issue we are facing let us shout and call for foreign support the president should know that we as supporters can no longer keep quiet the nation is on fire the president must rise to the occasion and bring in people to save this country or else we'll be consumed we cannot keep quiet any longer it has gotten to a situation that we cannot sleep with our two eyes closed our security system has collapsed and because it has failed, we need to look for foreign support. The president must know that this is a bad time for our nation. Let us shut down this National Assembly if we cannot save this country, the Kogi senator said. Contributing to the motion, the APC senator representing Oshun Central, Senator Ajibola Bashiru, who is also spokesperson of the Nigerian Senate, said the Nigerian police force is incapable of securing the country as it is. Senator Bashiru, who is also chairman Senate Committee on Media and Public Affairs, argued that there was need to recruit at least 5,000 security personnel in each state of the Federation. As of today, the at Police Nigeria is incapable of securing the country. It is only important that we need to come up with a matcher plan to address this issue of insecurity in Nigeria. And in minimum, we need to recruit at least 5,000 security personnel in each state. We should stop lamenting as a National Assembly and take actions, he said. Meanwhile, citing Order 42 and 52, seeking the leave of the Senate and presenting the motion, Senator Musa lamented the activities of bandit and Boko Haram terrorists in Shiroro and Rafi local government areas of Niger State, which he said has taken a dangerous dimension. The issue is not just Niger, it's all over the country. My observation is what is so wrong in our system that makes us not to respect early warning signals. In the last 10 years, there have been several reports that has given us indications that Nigeria may be entering into a situation that we are describing now. Fundamentally, what we are doing wrongly 
that will make us to ignore warning signals. This is where my concern is. We need to have a private section with the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of this country to find a lasting solution to this huge natural embarrassment. What we are witnessing is internal insurrections that is snowballing into the case of a war, Senator Ulubimi Ade Tumbi said. Meanwhile, on his part, Senator Gabriel Suzwam said, the executive has shown clear incompetence of handling this insecurity issue. Let us do the needful. Let us seriously sit down with Mr. President as a house to show the seriousness of what we have found ourselves in. Otherwise, we'll just find people who will overwhelm us here. Gradually, people are getting very impatient. The motion moved by our colleague here is about the fourth time he has moved such a motion. Let us have an executive session and frankly discuss this thing so that we can frankly talk and come up with solutions so that we can save Nigeria. Also, Senator Biodun Ulujimi said, I believe we are all tired coming here to talk about insecurity, kidnapping and all the sorts. We must know what government wants to do about insecurity and this Senate must insist and find out what they want to do. However, Senator Sirake Dixon blamed the issue be waddling the nation on a faulty constitutional structure, stressing that the challenge the nation is faced with is a challenge of leadership. He said, I'm impressed that we're looking at issues passionately as we ought to. Right now, there's also lots of faith in Nigeria dream, project and vision. This is why some of us, including myself, have taken the position that all these issues that are bewildering us is a product of the faulty constitutional structure. How can one man comfortably sit down in Abuja and police our nation of about 200 million people? We're about to lose the Nigeria dream and we should not let that happen. The challenge is the challenge of leadership. Everyone must rise to the occasion. Mr. President should rise and take leadership and what he has to do, including leading in the area of fundamental constitutional reform. President Mohamed Buhari is not ready to, to do anything. All he's after is uh, to see this country going down because the country is boiling up to now. He has not even uh, um, um, given a speech. He's not come out to reassure the country or speak about um, the situation. The country is in crisis. Imo state is boiling seriously, not just Imo state, all across the country. Well, what the senators are stating right now, that they as Buhari supporters, they are the ones that have been praising President Mohamed Buhari that is doing well. They've seen it now. What they are saying is that, truth be told, is that they cannot keep quiet any longer. There needs to be immediate action. Immediate action has to be taken. And uh, what, what they also pointed out right now is that uh, it's very clear, it's very obvious that they don't have solution to this problem. It's now time to call out for help. Will President Mohamed Buhari accept even the help that was offered him? He did not accept, let alone calling out. We are just begging God for mercy. God will show this country mercy because uh, President Mohamed Buhari really wants to run this country down. You see, that's why the agitations are rising every day. Well, guys, let's hear your take. Um, these senators have stated that they, as Buhari supporters, they can no longer keep quiet. I hope this will push Buhari to the point to act. But let's hear what you think. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.